So what does this have to do with this? Most people think that when we get more efficient at producing something, workers are going to lose their jobs. The idea is simply that machines will replace human workers. But is that true? Let's start with computers. Over the past several decades, computer factories have gotten much more efficient. We can produce more powerful computers using fewer resources. As a result, computers have gotten cheaper, and consumers have run out and bought more computers. Someone who wouldn't buy a computer at $2,000 will buy it when it goes down to $1,000. Or people who already have computers might replace them more often when they're cheaper. More demand for computers actually creates more jobs in the computer industry. And in fact, we have seen a huge increase in the number of people working in the computer industry, even as it's gotten more efficient. Now let's talk about toilet paper. Let's say that toilet paper factories become more automated and are able to produce more efficiently. Again, that will drop the price of toilet paper. And consumers will run out and buy exactly the same amount of toilet paper they bought before. Because really, toilet paper consumption is just not that sensitive to price. I mean, if the price of toilet paper doubled, would you buy half as much? So if consumers aren't buying more toilet paper, but we're able to produce it more efficiently, then most people's intuition is actually correct in this case. A lot of those toilet paper workers are going to lose their jobs. So increased efficiency led to more jobs in the computer industry, but fewer jobs in the toilet paper industry. Does that mean that we should oppose automation in industries like toilet paper? No. When the price of toilet paper drops, but consumers don't buy more of it, that means that consumers have more money in their wallets. Unless consumers are going to light those savings on fire, they're going to spend that extra money on things they couldn't have afforded before. More clothes, more music, more movies, eating out. And the job gains in those industries actually offset the job losses in the toilet paper industry. So with automation, one particular industry might produce the same amount of output with fewer workers. But the overall economy always produces more output with the same number of workers. And in fact, that's why we've seen the number of jobs in the economy double over the past 50 years, even though we're getting more efficient all the time. And who is Econ Guy? I'm Patrick Walsh. I'm an associate professor of economics at St. Michael's College near Burlington, Vermont. Thank you.